Welcome back. Let's create a new document in Microsoft Word. Open Word by clicking on the Word icon in the Start menu. Once it's loaded, click Blank Document. We are then presented with a new blank document. Notice there is a small flashing line in the top left of the document area. This is where text is going to appear when we type. It's called a cursor and will move across the and down the page as text is entered. If this cursor isn't available on the page, it might mean that you have another window or program active. Just click on the Microsoft Word window and the cursor should appear. Now, if I press a letter or number key on the keyboard, you can see that the cursor has moved along slightly. Keep pressing keys and the cursor keeps moving across the page. Once you get to the edge of the page, Microsoft Word will recognize this and automatically bring you down to the next line. If you're in the middle of, a, of typing a word when you reach the edge of the page, Word will bring the whole word down to the new line. Across the top of the number keys, you'll see a lot of different symbols. To type one of these, you need to hold down the shift key. There are actually two shift keys, one in each side of the keyboard. They normally have an arrow pointing up on them, and one is probably just to the left of the Z key, and the other just to the right of the key with the slash or question mark on it. Now that you know where these keys are, hold one of them down. Now with it pressed down, tap one of the number keys. Once you have released the number key, you can also release the shift key. You can perform the same action to type any of the symbols displayed in the upper half of the key on the keyboard. The same technique can be used to enter capital or uppercase letter. So for an uppercase A, I press and hold the shift key, hit the A key and finally release the shift key. If you want to type more than one special character or uppercase letter at a time, just continue to hold down the shift key while you type, for example, Press and hold shift, now hit the H and the I, and then the 1 key. Now release the shift key. If you want to type a word or sentence in uppercase, there is a slightly easier way than holding the shift key the whole time. Tap the caps lock key. This is normally just above the shift key on the left side of the keyboard. Now I can just type normally, and the letters appear in uppercase. Note that I still have to use the shift key for any of the special characters. Oh, and try typing a letter with caps lock and the shift key pressed. Yep, you can get a lowercase letter instead. Finally, to disable caps lock, just hit the key again. There's actually normally a light on the keyboard somewhere to indicate whether the caps lock is on or off. So what do you do if you make a mistake? Well, in the top right area of the keyboard, there is a key with an arrow pointing to the left. Tap that button to remove the last character that you typed. Keep pressing it to keep removing the characters. You may also see a key labelled delete on the keyboard. This is used to remove the character to the right of the cursor. We've used backspace to delete the most recent character or words that you've typed. But what if you've written a page or more and only then realise there is a mistake near the beginning? Do I have to use backspace to remove everything right up to and include in the mistake? Fortunately not. You can jump straight to the problem and correct it. There are a couple of ways to do this. First, find the arrow keys on the keyboard. They are normally off to the right of the main area. If you're on a laptop, they may be a little harder to find as they squeeze them around the edge of the main keyboard. Once you have found them, you can use them to move the cursor around in the document. So to correct a word in the middle of the document, just use the arrows to move to it and then, just as before, you can use the backspace to delete the mistake and type in the correction. Don't worry about space for the correction, Word will automatically adjust everything to fit for you. There are a few other keys that are worth remembering when you are editing a document. The first is the delete key. So far we've used backspace key to delete the character to the left of the cursor. The delete key removes the key to the right. A couple of useful keys to remember when you are navigating around the document with the arrow keys are the home and end buttons. 
These are normally located in a block of six directly above the arrow keys. The home key moves the cursor to the start of the current line. The end key takes you to the end of the current line. Lastly, and probably most common way to jump around in a document to edit it, is to use the mouse. Just click the mouse where you want to move the cursor to. This is great for moving the cursor a long way, perhaps halfway through a several page document. You can use the arrow keys to move to the precise place that you want to. In this video I showed you how to create a document in a word processor by entering and amending text. Specifically, I have explained how to use the keyboard to enter text. Not forgetting the caps lock key to use when entering several uppercase letters. I've shown you how to correct mistakes with the backspace and delete keys, and how to use the arrow and mouse to move the cursor around in the document so you can edit it. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.